Good afternoon. Typhoon Tungari has weakened to a tropical depression but has caused casualties in eight prefectures of Japan and will also have some impact on here in South Korea. So eastern parts of Gangwon-do and Gyeongsang-do provinces will see some showers, while Jeju Island will receive 10 to 40 millimeters of rainfall along with bearable temperatures. Meanwhile, the western parts of the country will need to brace for steamy, moist air and even stronger heat today. And more record-breaking heat is expected over the next two days, with highs nearing 38 degrees Celsius here in the capital. So the risk of heat stroke and heat exertion remains very high. And for today, Seoul and Daejeon could have highs of 37 degrees Celsius. Chuncheon and Daegu will make it to 35 degrees. With that, let's take a look at the international weather for beers around the world. So western parts of South Korea will have sweltering weather conditions, while North Korea is also under a heat wave. Now, tropical storm Dongdari made landfall early Sunday in central Japan after dumping heavy rain on Tokyo and other parts of eastern Japan the previous day. At least 23 people in eight prefectures across Japan have been injured by the storm. And Wellington should enjoy sunny skies on Monday, and rain is expected for the rest of the week. Now, downpours are set to once again target the eastern United States this week, including New York and Washington, D.C. And as for South America, most major cities will have mostly sunny skies. And taking you to Europe, London will get some relief from the heat with showers on Monday. And lastly, to Africa, the car will be rainy, while Addis Ababa will have unstable weather conditions. And that's the weather update for now.